In this video, we will be going over the following problem. A man has six $1 bills. How many ways can he distribute the money among his three children? First things first, let's just consider some of the possible ways the money can be distributed. So if we have the three children, C1, C2, and C3, the man could just choose to give all of the money to one of his children and nothing to the other two. Or alternatively, he could split the money equally between the three children and give them each $2 or he could give the first child $1, the second child $2, and the third child $3. And we can go on and on with these scenarios, but it quickly becomes apparent that the brute force method won't really work for this problem, since there's just too many possibilities to keep track of. So we're going to have to take a different approach, which will involve the following diagram. Let's say these six rectangles represent the six $1 bills, and that we have two dividers, which we're going to use to split the money up into three different segments, each of which will go to one of the children. We can place the dividers here and here, for example, and let's say that our diagram represents that the first child gets the money to the left of the first divider, the second child gets the money between the first and second dividers, and the third child gets the money to the right of the second divider. So in this scenario, each child gets $2, and this is one possible way the money can be split up. Another possible scenario is the following, where the first child, once again, gets everything to the left of the first divider, the second child gets the money between the two dividers, which in this case is nothing, and the third child gets the money to the right of the second divider, so $4. Or the man could split up the money this way, where the first child gets nothing, the second child gets all $6, and the third child gets nothing as well. And so we can see that this problem boils down to finding the number of ways we can place the two dividers amongst the $6 bills. Since each unique way that the two dividers can be placed is a unique way the money can be split up. And so to find how many ways this is, we're going to think of having eight slots. Two spots will be used for the dividers, and the other six spots will ultimately be occupied by the $6 bills. So let's say, for example, we place one divider here, and one divider here. And then we fill in the rest of the spots with the dollar bills. And so here we have another unique way the money can be split up. One dollar to the first child, three dollars to the second child, and two dollars to the third child. And so we can see that the placement of the dividers dictates how the money gets split up. And so ultimately the answer to this problem is the number of ways we can choose two spots out of eight to place dividers in. And that is, of course, 8 choose 2, which is 28. And so just to recap, there are 28 different ways we can place the two dividers in these 8 spots. And each of these ways represents a way the man can distribute the money among the three children. And so 28 is our answer, and that's really all there is to this problem. And so this method of approaching these type of problems is commonly referred to as the sticks and stones method, because you place dividers, which are the sticks, between identical items, which are the stones, to group them into different categories. And so just to reinforce this method, let's really quickly do a variation of this problem in which we have seven $1 bills to split among four children. Now, since there are four children to split the money amongst, we're gonna need three dividers, which I'm gonna abbreviate with the letter D. This means that we now have 10 slots, seven for the $1 bills, and three for the dividers, and so the number of ways the money can be split up between the four children is the number of ways that three dividers can be placed in the ten slots. So for this variation, there are ten choose three, which is 120, ways that the money can be split up among the four children.